welcome to st academy today we are going to discuss about tsap mset straight line most important questions that is mcqs the first question is a particle travels from a to m along a straight line with a velocity 8 meter per second and m to a with a velocity 2 meter per second we know that here we need to calculate average velocity the formula of average velocity is total displacement by total time taken whenever someone goes from a to m and come back to the same place the displacement is zero so here the average velocity becomes zero guys this is very simple question next question is a car travel one third of the distance a b at 30 kilometer next one third at 40 kilometer and last one third at 24 kilometer it average speed in kilometer per hour for the whole journey so here the total distance we are taking from a to b is d now when it travels one third of the distance of a b that is d by 3 next one third d by 3 next one third d by 3 now the total formula the average speed formula is total distance by total time taken the, there is three time t1 t2 t3 you know the formula of time time equals to distance by speed so t1 we got 3 into 30 next t2 d by 340 t3 d by 3 into 24 substitute in the formula of average velocity total distance and displacement you will get the answer very simple question next is a ball is thrown vertically upward from a ground it crosses a point 20 crosses a point at a height of 25 meter twice at an interval of 4 seconds the ball was thrown with a velocity so here the ball took 2 seconds to reach top most point from uh, 25 meter height its speed at 25 meter height is 20 meter per second so when we calculate the speed we know the formula u initial velocity is 0 and final velocity is v minus a into t so here a is minus g so then to find out what you need to find out the initial velocity the formula is another third equation v square equals to u square plus 2as substitute these values you will get the answer guys very simple question next is from the time velocity and time graph of a particle moving in a straight line decide which of the following is our incorrect statement the particle crosses its initial point next is the, the acceleration of the particle is constant the force on the particle is constant the speed of the particle increases continuously no the speed of the particle is not increasing continuously this is a wrong statement why because the whenever the particle moves in a straight line the particle crosses initial position and acceleration of the particle is constant the force on the particle is also constant but its speed doesn't increase continuously this is the option is d next is this is also a very important question a particle moves along a x axis in such a way that x coordinate varies with time according to the equation x equals to is given the velocity of the particle vary with time velocity formula you know in a straight line the velocity is dx by dt the x is given just differentiate it and substitute the value of t you will get the velocity next is next question sixth one very important question uh, position and time graph for two children a and b returning from their school o to their homes p and q respectively along the straight line choose the incorrect state a leaves closer to b closer to a school than b yes from the equation from the graph you can see the a leaves closer to the school than b and a starts from a school earlier than b this is also a a right statement and the c1 is the wrong why because a and b have equal average velocity 0 to t naught so this is a wrong statement and b overtakes a on the way this is the right question c is wrong next question is from the following uh, graph position of a particle moves along x axis choose the wrong statement we know that the particle has come to rest at 4 yes see here at 4 the particle is coming rest at 2 the particle is coming at rest 
and at 8 the particle is coming at rest of you the option is maximum speed at uh, the, the the wrong statement is the maximum speed at t is equals to 4 is the wrong question the wrong answer was next is question number 8 is the velocity graph of two cars starting at a point in is shown find the time after which two cars will meet at will meet again next is see here when you see the graph uh, from the following graph you can draw one more graph that is a triangle here uh, now the displacement in area area 1 equals to area 2 area 1 is given area 2 is given you have the formula area 1 10 t naught is and area 2 is the triangle you know the formula of the triangle is length into height so length into height is the formula so just substitute the values of length and height you will get the answer next is this is a very important question ninth one two cars a and b traveling toward each other on a single lane road at 24 meter per second 21 meter per second respectively they note they notice each other with when 180 apart and apply brakes simultaneously they just succeed in avoiding collision both stop simultaneously at the same position assume that the retardation for the car so here we need to find out uh, Assuming constant retardation for each other, the distance traveled by car A while slowing down is. Distance is 24T0 is the distance, distance traveled plus 21T0. Next is, uh, here you will get that T0 is 4 second, distance traveled by A is 24T0 equals to 24 into T, that is 96 meters. Next is this this kind of question mostly asks in the examination the velocity of a time graph of a body traveling along a straight line is given the distance travel and the displacement of the body are so here the distance travel is a1 a2 and a3 displacement is a a1 is there a1 a1 minus a2 plus a3 so calculate the distance distance travel first is the triangle distance travel you know the formula of distance tra travel that is one is trapezium trapezium formula also you know substitute the trapezium formula triangle formula you will get the answer now this is brief and the displacement is zero guys next is this is also very very important question most of the time in m set they will ask this kind of questions figure shows the velocity time graph of a particle it average velocity is 20 uh, seconds will be total displacement you need to find out the total displacement one is uh, the triangle a, triangle uh, substitute here the formula of so this so there is one more point average velocity total displacement by total time taken the total time taken is 20 seconds and total displacement is from its average velocity in 20 seconds is the total displacement is means here if you see the total displacement this is a trapezium you know the formula of trapezium half length of the upper diagonal plus length of the lower diagonal into height this is the formula of trapezium half length of the upper diagonal plus length of the lower diagonal length of the upper diagonal is 10 and length of the lower diagonal is 20 and height is 5 just substitute there you will get the displacement sub 75 divided by total time taken is 20 seconds next is this is a very important question a particle passes from a to b which are 90 meter apart it covers six seconds to cover the distance with uniform acceleration velocity of the particle when it passes through b point in 20 seconds what is its initial velocity at a you know the formula s is equals to ut plus half at squared this is a formula substitute those formula you first find out the acceleration you know the formula of acceleration substitute there you will get the answer of acceleration just substitute that in v minus a t you will get the answer for initial velocity next is this is also a very important question two ball x and y are thrown from a top of the tower inward vertical upward and vertical downward with same speed if the time taken by them to reach the ground is 6 seconds and 12 seconds respectively then the height of the tower and the initial speed of the ball is so here initial velocity uh, if you see the initial velocity what is its initial velocity 
it has given from the information provided we can conclude the ball thrown upward with the re will return to the tower uh, with to the top of the tower after 4 seconds next initial velocity is 20 meter per second you got the initial velocity next displacement formula is s is equals to ut plus half at square you will get the answer this is the height you need to find out the initial velocity is 20 meter per second height is 60 meters next is this is a, another very important question a thief is running away on a straight road in a jeep moving with 90 meter 9 meter per second a policeman chases him on a motorcycle at a speed of 10 meter per second if it's instantaneous separation of the jeep from the motorcycle is 100 meter how long will it take the you need to find out the how long will how long will it take for the police to catch the thief you need to find out the time so the police is approaching the thief one meter per second at one meter per second so he will cover the gap of 100 meter in 100 meter per second the answer is 100 next is two trains of length 100 meter and another is 125 meter are moving mutually opposite direction along parallel line meet each other each with velocity 10 meter per second if their acceleration is given then the time taken that the then the time they take to pass each other very important question x a plus x b first you need to calculate the x a plus x b that is distance of a and distance of b then sorry length of a and length of b that is 25 225 meter next is a is going here and you need to for apply the formula ut plus half at square same formula you will get the, uh, the time then the time taken to pass each other is so, so you, when you add those at all displacement because the acceleration is given s is equals to ut plus half at square substitute there you will get the displacement 225 next is to find out the time you know the time formula v is equals to ut s is equals to ut plus half at square substitute there you will get the answer next is a particle initially at rest start moving in a straight line with acceleration and the distance covered by it you know the formula of acceleration is dv by dt when you got v next is v is given next you need to find out the x the x how you can find out the x v is v equals to dx by dt next cross multiply dt there then integrate both sides you will get the x next is very important question a rocket is fired upward from the earth surface such that it has acceleration and if after five seconds its engine is switched off the maximum height of the height of the rocket from the earth surface this is a very important formula here you need to use why because here the acceleration is given time is given g is also given use the formula s is equals to ut plus half at square you will get s again v square minus u square is given again you will find the s both s if you add you will get the maximum height of the rocket next is a man in a balloon rising vertically with the acceleration of 9 4.9 meter per second release a ball two second after the balloon is let go from the ground the greatest height above the ground reached by the ball is reached by the balloon is is uh, wrong is here it's a balloon so velocity uh, one minute a man is uh, a man in a balloon rising vertically with an acceleration of 4.9 meter per second release a ball after the balloon is let go from the ground the greatest height above the ground reached by the ball is next is so what happened here man release a ball the velocity of stone is equals to velocity of balloon both are same velocity acceleration of stone equals to acceleration of balloon both are same just after releasing velocity of stone equals to velocity of balloon acceleration is 9.8 so use the formula s is equals to ut plus half at square you will get the value of s h now maximum height above the ground formula is h plus v square plus 2g substitute there you will get the answer remaining questions we will do in our next part thanks for watching